it, it, it's brilliant. This is a story and acting is obviously the same thing. He is <laughs> performing in a play that he wrote himself, Torch Song Trilogy, which will be closing here on June 2nd, and then he will go immediately to New York, and he won two Tonys for Torch Song Trilogy. He will go to New York for June 3rd for the Tonys where, where he is not in, but he wrote La Caja Faux, which is up for nine Tonys. So you, exactly, will you please help me welcome Mr. Harvey Firestein. <laughs> I bought this special for you today. It's my GQ outfit. It's very Goy chic. Goyasha queen. <laughs> it's very California. It is. I don't know. I wanted to look like I had gone Hollywood. Yeah, well, you, you look you a little know, Hollywood. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yes. Is this Hollywood enough? They said, it, they said it's supposed to be wrinkled. Yeah, it's supposed to be wrinkled. It's supposed to be wrinkled. And the exactly. sleeves are pushed up, which is and great. pushed up. Yeah. And then they, they had a paint over here, yeah. over the stretch marks. They had a paint. Yeah. Because the <laughs> but you're not Hollywood. You're a New Yorker. Don't you yeah. find it hard living out here? I find it hard living anywhere. <laughs> no, I, I, this is very frightening to me, to wake up every morning and the sun is shining. Yes. It's very frightening. I called home yesterday. They said it was raining and I started crying. <laughs> I said, please let it rain here a little bit. Oh. And, and, and I think it fries the brains out here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think so, too. And then they get these convertibles, and they put down the tops of the convertibles so they can get more sun. And then when they have a day off, they run to the beach. <laughs> I mean, it, it's but very strange. You can't run anyway, though, because you don't drive. Do you find no. yourself a prisoner now? Yeah. I have a hotel room. I have, a, I have a driver who's very nice. He calls me up, and he says, time to come out yet? I say, almost, almost. <laughs> as soon as the sun comes down. I'm coming out. Why can't you drive? I'm dyslexic. I, see, I do things backwards. I'll step on the brake when I mean to step on the gas. Oh, I can't tell my left from my right. Then you fit right out, in out here. Yeah, it's true. Right. Oh, shit. <laughs> How do you know you're dyslexic? How did you find out you're dyslexic? When I started typing, I guess, and I, and I typed a whole page in, a, you know, in one of those classes in high school when you learn to type. I typed a whole page, looked at it, and realized it was all backwards. <gasps> And then I, I said, ooh, something's wrong here. Oh. <laughs> what about now when you write? It's just like the rest of my life. What, can I tell <laughs> what you? about when you write? When I write? When you type right, is that... Thank God I have a lover that types 100 words a minute. Oh, <laughs> so I type it out badly, and then he fixes it. You know what I love about you is because you're so open about your homosexuality. I yeah. think a woman just realized I was gay. She just realized I was gay. These shoes didn't tell you. <laughs> the socks told her I was Jewish, but the shoes told her I was gay. Now, but you're so, um, what do you go, you're, you're relaxed. You're so relaxed about being a homosexual, which is wonderful. How was it in high school? I went, as a matter of fact, to an all-gay high school. An all-gay high school? Who is homecoming it's New queen? New York. It was New York. <laughs> Who was, Who was homecoming queen? Nobody went. Nobody went to the prom. No one went to the prom. It was an all-gay high school? Yeah. It was called Art and Design. Yeah, oh. <laughs> On 57th Street and 2nd Avenue. <laughs> there and, were no... And, well, there were a couple of heterosexuals, but, you know, they were bussing them in. <laughs> so... Were there rough well, kids learned, around no, you? I learned, you know, no, like, no, Like no, leather no. gangs would come up or oh, please. And annoy you kids or, you know. Leather gangs come up and cruise. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, there was, there, was, there was one particular gentleman there named Pablo who taught me a lot. The first rule was, if they tell you that they love you and they say, come live with me, you tell them, take me shopping. <laughs> that was the first rule. The second one was, never New Jersey. Because you were late for class. <laughs> By the time we got back. <laughs> was Pablo the one you told me? Pablo, oh, had the Pablo. doll. You told Pablo me had a porcelain doll. <laughs> and he, he would, brought it to school. And would breastfeed it in class. <laughs> Pablo. <laughs> what did <laughs> what did that happen to Pablo? I think he's married with children in Passaic. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Let me ask you, because it's so wonderful to be able to sit here and talk with you and laugh. When you came to your family and said, 
I'm gay. That must have been a shock. I mean, you come from a normal family, middle like class. Gay the normal people. No, I'm talking about. If, no, you know what I'm saying. You, of all people you look no, at. No, I didn't. I didn't have. To, I didn't have to tell them. They knew. How? From the beginning. When did you yeah. know? When did I? About five. You, you knew. That, yeah, I had that, a crush on a camp counselor. And were you upset by it, or? Uh... I was only upset. No, no. Yeah. No. But nothing upsets you. You have a good life. No, yeah, I you're have a wonderful be, life. You're gonna be 30, and someone said you can't wait to be 35. Yeah. No, I, I'm gonna turn 30 next week. It's very embarrassing. Why? You look great. Because I've looked 40 since I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> look at the success you've had. Yeah, that's what I mean. You never suffered, Harvey. Have you ever suffered All... in, in your arse? No, the only time I ever suffer is when I go shopping for clothes. Because <laughs> you wrote the play. And it was a success right away. You're so wonderful. Anyone who's not seen him in Torture on Trilogy should run, not walk, quickly, because you're close Saturday, right? right? And you better win at least seven out of the nine Tonys. Right. A pleasure having you. We'll be right back after this message of interest. So please...